Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andrew Hale, lead generation, recruiting and sales process maniac. Look, I wanna to talk to you today about comp plans, right? Commission versus hourly versus salary. Look, I do a lot of recruiting for marketing and sales roles, right, in my business. And I get to meet all kinds of interesting individuals, interesting candidates, and guys, I wanna just kinda of clear something up, right, that, that I hear quite constantly, right? And, and I hear it with a ton of frequency and repetition, right? So, you know, we could be in a phone interview process, we could be in a face-to-face -face interview process, and the candidate asks about the comp model, right? And so, you know, obviously, the majority of valuable sales or marketing roles are commission-based, right? And very well they should be, right? Marketing and sales is a production-driven, activity-driven environment, right? And so, if you are out there, right, and you are working in marketing and sales, right, and you are working for an hourly pay, right, or you are working for a salary, look, you could be missing loads of financial opportunity, okay? So think about it like this, right? Whether, whether you are compensated $10 an hour, $20 an hour, $100 an hour, or $500 an hour, wouldn't your employer's decision to either retain your services, right, or to promote you and pay you more be based on your productivity, right? So if you were earning $20 per hour, right, but you were only producing $10 per hour for the organization, would you have any real job security? I don't think so, right? Now, say for example, you were being paid $100 per hour, but you were producing the organization $500 per hour. Do you think that you may be promoted or earn additional bonuses or commissions? Yeah, I think you would, guys. Now look, when, when you are in the job market, right, you're actively looking for a career opportunity, right, a, a better opportunity or just a different opportunity, just consider one thing, right? It doesn't matter whether you are salary, commission only, right, or paid by the hour. The bottom line is, is you will be paid based on your performance. So if you got hired on for an organization as a outside sales agent and you were paid a base salary of $100,000 a year, and say for example, right, you came in and for 60 days you produced no revenue, do you think that your services would be retained much further than that 60 days? Most likely not, right? Now, say for example, you came into an organization as a commission-only salesperson, and in that first 60 days, you produced $150,000, right, in revenue, and you were paid a 10% commission, right, which would be roughly $15,000 in commissions in that two months, right? Do you think at that point, as a successful producing outside sales rep, you may have a little bit of leverage to work on upping your commission percentage? Yeah, probably so. Look, guys, I want you to know, no matter whether you're hourly, salary, or commission only, the bottom line is we're all paid on performance. So just remember this, it may not be a good look in a job interview, right, to say as if you're applying for a sales or marketing role, right, that you're not interested in a pay, for, pay per performance role. So look, just think about this, right? It's all about productivity. It's all about action. Look, my name's Andrew Hale. I help companies develop recruiting programs, lead generation programs, and also sales training. Hey, look, doesn't matter who you are. We're all commission only, right? You just may have some type of false security, right? Like an hourly or salary, but you're commission only. Believe that. Hey, my name's Andrew Hale. Hope you liked the video.